Hey there, my, my name is Pete Buckwald and I just want to give you a quick tutorial on using the Impulse Response Designer. That's an application that, that comes right with Logic Pro. Uh, sorry, it's called the Impulse Response Utility. Uh, so it is really easy. Um, so let me show you how to get going. So first set up a microphone, or two microphones is even better to kind of catch a, a 3D image, if you will, of, of the space you want to sample. Set up a loudspeaker that can crank out the broadband frequency information we're going to uh, blast out here in a second. Um, then you're ready to go. Um, to find this, I, I would go to your finder, uh, Apple N, Command N, whatever you want to call it. Uh, look for utility. Um, enter. Any utility, did I spell it wrong? Utility, there we go. Uh, sort by kind, um, that puts all the alphabetical applications beginning with A at the top. Uh, there's my impulse response utility. They set this up to be very user friendly. Um, it's, it's fantastic. So, I'm going to do a new project. Let's make it stereo. Okay. Um, it's really cool because they grayed out all the options so you couldn't do things out of order. Um, so really you're, uh, they force you to do things in the proper order and it's, it's great. So once I arm a track to record, some new options became available. So that sweep was inactive and I press record and suddenly it's, it's available as an option. Alright, so here we go. Let's, let's, make a, let's take a sonic snapshot of my office. Okay, let's call this my office number four. <clears throat> I've already done three. Okay, so there it's saved. And once we save that, um, this new option becomes available called deconvolve, where it, it's going to kind of extract that sine wave from the equation and leave the sonic signature of this room, uh, isolate its sonic contribution. So let's press deconvolve and we end up with a short little file over here right? so there's our, our snapshot of this room now there's a new um, option here, this new button called audition which is pretty neat, we, we select that and this dialog comes up we would make sure these are enabled select your output and this lets us hear what different sounds would sound like in that space a snare drum woodblock, hey. male voice, hey. female voice, or you can browse and find, if you're curious about a certain sound, what it would sound like in that context, uh, you can take a listen to see if it, it's going to work for what you're doing. So that's pretty fun, right? Uh, so our last step is, if you're using this in Space Designer, you can just click this bottom left button called Create Space Designer Setting. Boom my office number four, good. So, uh, space designer impulse response file created and it shows you where it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, so let's open up this logic project I got going on. Open up space designer, go to our menu, and there it is. It's available as a, as a, a physical space inside the space designer. So that's how easy it is to create an impulse response for Logic Pro. Hope this is helpful and uh, look forward to hearing your comments.